Ready? Three, two, one. Boom, look at this dude. Today I'm gonna show you how to add water into your UEFN games. You can use the timestamps down below to skip to any part in the video you want. First things first, we're gonna go to landscape mode. If we go to the top left of our screen, click the drop down and go to landscape mode. Now that we're in landscape mode, we're gonna go ahead and adjust this to a height that we really wanna use. By the way, I have a full video on landscape mode if you guys want to watch that after this one. The next thing we're gonna do is click this blue create button right behind me. Going to go ahead and click it and it's going to load in here and boom just like that we got our base layer of all of our train placed down next we're going to look inside the environment folder and finally place down some water so there's a few ways of putting water inside your map uh the first one is really simple if you go down let me turn off my webcam here if you go down to devices in the fortnite folder you can actually look up water and this is the water device that we had in Creative 1.0. We're actually going to go back to selection mode. So as you can see, we got the water device over on the right hand side is going to have all of our settings. For a lot of maps, this actually works pretty great. I really do like this device. If you want to see what it looks like, kind of like while you're editing, you can go ahead and click uh, where it says enable during phase. You can click this and choose always. And now you can kind of get an idea of what this water is gonna look like and with this water you can fully swim in it it works perfect i mean this is actually a really great option for water but if you want to do it the other way we can go ahead and delete this uh from our island right here inside the fortnite folder there's another thing i'm gonna turn off the webcam again if we scroll down inside the fortnite folder we can go over to environment and inside environment we can open up the water tab and as you can see, we have a whole bunch of different options here. We have island, lake, ocean, river, and swimming pool. So let's go ahead and drop down a lake really quick. All you're going to do is hover over lake. You're going to left click it and drag it on into your island. Now, as you can see, if we fly over here. It's going to completely erase everything in the middle of this kind of like circle shape. If I click W on my keyboard, you can actually adjust the height. Of this lake now it might look kind of weird like this but if i let go of left click it's gonna adjust the terrain to fit whatever you just selected now the kind of cool thing about this if we fly over inside the water right here it actually adjusts the entire terrain for you so it already creates kind of like that dome effect it's really sick uh really good uses for this another really cool one is the river i'm actually gonna throw this down so i'm gonna click on the river left click and just drag it on in here now for this river i'm going to do the same thing i'm actually going to lift it up just a little bit so we can kind of get it above terrain so you guys can see it okay so as you can see uh it adjusts the terrain perfectly to wherever this uh line is following and you can actually adjust this so what you're going to do while you're in selection mode all you're going to do is click on the white string right here there's like these little itty bitty like little squares, white squares. You're going to go ahead and click this. I'm going to click again in the center, but hold left click and you can adjust where you want this to go. So I can have it go. Let's say we want it to go uphill or something and check it out, guys. It is going to adjust to wherever you set this thing. So let's say that I want this river to be like a little bit swiggly. So I'm going to click on this middle one, drag it out over here on the left. And I'm going to click this uh, one at the bottom here. And I'm going to drag this one all the way. Let's drag it like over here. I'm going to raise it up a little bit. Oops, raise it up some more. And check it out, guys. Now we got the water going all the way around like this. Now, of course, you can take more time and make it look a lot prettier and, you know, fill in the terrain so it kind of like lines up. This is just the basics of how you throw it down. I'm actually going to go ahead and delete everything here and i'm gonna show you guys the ocean because the ocean is actually pretty unique and i think you can do a lot of things with it all right so we're gonna do the same thing again i'm gonna open up landscape mode and um we're gonna go ahead and click uh where is it that we're gonna click new I'm gonna go ahead and just pour a little landscape right here i'm gonna click create again boom and now we're gonna test out the ocean guys so i'm gonna go ahead and grab the ocean i'm just gonna drag this on in here and check this out guys okay ready three two one boom look at this dude it creates its own little island man it's completely 
just surrounding the ocean. Everywhere else on the island, it's gonna be complete ocean. Below me, there's a grid because it's the island I selected, but you can actually go ahead and delete these. All you gotta do on the top right is look for uh, these grid planes and go ahead and delete them. So yeah, once you delete them, look at this, guys. We got our own little island. As you can see, it kind of just goes off, makes a perfect island. You got super cool grass. The water connects perfectly with it. And this is pretty cool, guys. You can actually do the same thing like the rivers. You can adjust the size of this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and look for those little uh, white boxes again. I'm gonna click it. And what you do, you click on it again, right in the center. And now you can drag these out. And look at that. The island is gonna adjust exactly where you put it. Now that we got the basics of the water device, I'm actually gonna go ahead and make a little survival island for you guys and show you just how fun and easy it can be to use these tools. So you can kind of have fun playing around with this. Just kind of drag it and make the island as big as you want. And then once you get a size that you like, you can actually go back into landscape mode at the top left. And once I'm inside landscape mode, you still have the terrain here. So I can go to my sculpting tool and I can go ahead and fill in terrain right here. I'm gonna go ahead and make my brush size super strong. But look it, you can go ahead and just fill in the terrain right here and you can make yourself a little survival island super quick. Now I'm gonna go over to my paint tool and I'm gonna scroll down a little bit here. I'm actually gonna scroll down and select the third option. That's gonna be like our sand paint tool. I'm gonna go ahead and change the strength on my brush, make it a little bigger. Look it's actually huge. And look at this, now we're gonna just slowly start adding in some sand here. You guys wanted sandy beaches, so we're getting sandy beaches, okay? Check it out. We're making this whole island sandy. I'm just gonna go ahead and just paint around. This is super easy to do. And check it out, dude, look it. We got ourselves a little beachy island. You could throw down some crabs, some palm trees, and look at that. You got a whole survival island in like, what, five minutes? Really cool. We can also play around again with the sculpting tool. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually turn down the, the strength of the brush and also keep it nice and big. I'm gonna create a little bit of like sand, um, like sand dooms and stuff, or just like hills, whatever. So check it out. Now we're starting to get a little bit more texture here on our island. Instead of it being like super flat, now it's gonna have a little bit of like hills. This looks really cool when you drag it up around the mountain itself, like the base. It kind of looks like the sand has been pushed up against it. If we go back to the Fortnite folder, we can go ahead and search palm trees. I'm pretty sure Fortnite has a couple, yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and drag these down in. Uh, on in here. I'm just gonna drag some that I like and then we can go back into selection mode at the top left And now we can kind of just like freely transform these, you know, change How they are and kind of get them where we want them and check it out guys in just like under 10 minutes or so We created our own little island using the new water devices. It's pretty cool uh, Hopefully you guys found this video, you know helpful if you guys want more tutorials I'm gonna have a playlist that I'm gonna link down below in the comments It has all my UAFN tutorials that I've made so far and every one that I make is gonna be updated into it If you guys have any tutorials you want me to make make sure you guys leave ideas for me down below in the comments Because this one we found from a comment and I'm looking for ideas, so let me know and I will make tutorials on them. If you guys enjoyed today's video, found it helpful, make sure you guys smash the like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.